This is the story of a case of mistaken identity and a mythical beast. For me, it started a few weeks ago with this photo. It came across my feed and I was immediately enamored with this cat. It's projecting a look of love for the boy while simultaneously warning us to stay back. The claws seem to serve two purpose, a threat to us and a means to cling to the boy. Beautiful moment, beautiful photo. I had to know more. The post credited the photographer as Paul McCain, an American. I wasn't familiar with any famous photographers by that name, so I thought it must be a lesser known or unknown photographer. There was no date or location listed. To me, it felt like this could have been taken any time in the second half of the 20th century. I did a Google image search and this image had been shared numerous times on social media over the last three years, either uncredited or credited to McCain. It seems strange to me that a seemingly older photo just popped up on the internet three years ago and didn't have any more info attached. One comment mentioned it being taken in Russia, but offered no proof. So at this point, I shared a short video with the information that I had and asked if anyone had seen this before or knew anything about Paul McCain. And wow, did my viewers come through. In less than 24 hours, I received a comment saying that the photo was taken by a Russian photographer named Alexander Yanenko in 1985. Very specific. I asked if they could send me more info via email and about two days later, I received an amazing email with photos and more. They wrote, quote, the background of the picture is so undeniably USSR, Russia, I thought I could find it in the Russian speaking web. So I Googled Paul McCain in Russian and quickly found out from the comments that apparently the author is Alexander Yanenko. It led to this VK.com page, which is like the Russian Facebook, that's been active since 2010 and a lot of his works are stored there. They went on to say that Yanenko had entered international photo competitions in the 80s, so it was likely that either his submission was mislabeled in the archives, or more recently, someone found it and in their hurry to post it, didn't look for the true identity of the photographer and just attached a random name. And we have proof to the claim that Yanenko is the actual photographer because they shared other photos of these three subjects clearly taken at the same time and place. I love seeing these additional photos for more context and looking at the photo grid here, I especially would love to see this image. So cool. I love how the cat's claws are just digging in there. My new friend went on to share some cultural significance of the image. They said that when this image appears on the Russian internet, people often call it behemoth. Behemoth in Russian translates literally to hippopotamus. It also means behemoth and is a reference to the biblical creature who is a monster of chaos. Now this cat doesn't look like a hippo and and a monster of chaos seems a bit extreme. So here's where the specifically Russian connection comes in. In the 1930s, Russian author Mikhail Bulgakov penned a classic work of literature called The Master and Margarita. One of the main characters is a black cat named Begemont. He can shapeshift and he's like way into wine and guns and known for his cutting humor. So when people from Russia see a black cat with a big personality, they'll often comment that it's Begemont. I love this and I'm going to start saying it too, for sure. So like and comment on this video to ensure that Alexander Yanenko receives proper credit anytime this photo is shared. Let's make sure this shows up on Google. I want his name to be attached to this because it's his photo, obviously. So subscribe for more interesting photography and photography adjacent videos.